Alright, so this has been something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time actually. Um, BTD6 mods. So, I've had some mods installed and today we're going to be looking at a new tower. This is the Banana Farmer tower. Um, this is a new tower, has three paths, five upgrades, and a paragon. So, this is going to be really fun to take a look at. Um... Let's get into it. It's really expensive to start out. Um, also, side note, I'm playing this on medium mode. And I'm on Elite Blunarius. So, um, this is going to be a boss event. So, it's going to be pretty cool to kind of uh, see how this does. And as you could probably tell by the map, I am on Balloons TD1. This is um, a mod. I forget the name of the mod. It like, adds more maps, a bunch of sweet maps and everything. So, let me know what y'all think of the mods, and if you want to see more, um, be sure to let me know. I'd be totally down. This is really sick. So, yeah, let's get started. So, it is, it is $1,900, uh, which is a very pricey. And, well, I'm going to plop it down next to a farm and see what it does. So, I think if it works how I expect, collects bananas from banana farms, yeah. So, yeah, this looks sweet. Let's get into it. So let's throw down Dral Draldo now, maybe like right here, that was brutal, but whatever. And then hopefully uh, NFT by the end of this round. There you go, NFT down, and now we're just going to get some farms down, because, uh, alright, so our first farm is going down now. Um... Oh, I think that's a bit bugged. <laughs> we can put a banana farm on the track. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I guess we take advantage of. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's pretty bugged. <laughs> we'll ignore that for now. We'll ignore that for now. Uh, I guess we'll just put up here. Well, I guess we'll have to take advantage of that because that definitely helps us. So. So because this thing is so expensive, uh, I think I'll have to wait a bit to get it. Wait till we get a few farms down because, or maybe just wait a couple of tiers. Maybe get get past tier one. We can start going for it once we get the money money rolling. So yeah, but this I'm super excited to try this. So I'm gonna sell the NFT now for seven K and get balloon trap for the leads, and then. Um, I really want to get one of them down, so maybe uh, I'll get another two zero zero, and then let's get let's get him. Uh, his range isn't that big, which is fair enough. Uh, I think I'll put him like somewhere here because I'd want a village, um, like beside it for the monkey city and everything. So maybe. Maybe like right here. I don't know. Or like down here. Or it's sort of like dead center. Like not dead center. Like right. Um. Hmm. Three days later. Maybe like right here. Right there is fine. So let's take a look at the tier ones. We have a 10 feet pitchfork, increases farmer's range slightly. Banana gun enables farmer to shoot slippery banana peels and help in hand farmers can now generate bananas It's definitely bottom path, right? That's crazy I'm just gonna get uh, let's go bottom and Then banana dealer uh, farmer produces double the bananas. Okay, that's cool And then let's go for a 101 for now just for the extra range I feel like the extra range is really nice. So I'm going to go for this banana dealer. Farmer produces double the bananas. And then we got banana banker for 3,500. All farms and farmers and range get 15% more income. Gotcha. Okay. So it seems like the bottom path is just strictly more money. Which seems like the best cross path. Like, right? That seems nuts. Alright, so for tier 1, 
Uh, let's go for a Sticky Bomb. And then maybe... And then a more Glaives. Or a Recursive Cluster. Uh, let's do that for Tier 1. I think that'll be pretty good. So, we're gonna go for a... Uh, I think a 202 village with a one zero um, that and then we will get a elk buff and a recursive cluster uh, maybe like um, maybe like right here or something and while the round is playing, we could sell like the balloon trap or something. We'll make some money. So, oh, that is a really big thing. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What is that? <laughs> Whatever. There we go. Can't really see the HP on it, but that's fine. So I think that's first skull. Can I make sure I'm not dead here? Oh, I am dead. Okay. Okay, um... What's the game plan? Hmm. Do we sell... Let's sell one farm for a recursive cluster, and then... Maybe just some Jerry's Fire. I'll put the ninja on strong. And then maybe a second recursive or a more glaives. I'm gonna go for a more glaives. Slightly off. Oh, okay, there we go. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. And then gotta keep farming. Gotta make sure I'm not dying. I don't think I'm dying. I think I'm chilling. Sticky Bomb is putting in work as normal. Oh, Alk Buff! Alk Buff, Alk Buff, Alk Buff. Uh, Alk. And then there we go. That'll help a lot, I think. And then I think I'm gonna go for this, uh, Banana Banker on the, um, Farmer. So... Farms and farms in range get 15% more income. And we have the um, fertilizer on Geraldo. That's pretty perfect. Oh, wait, we're leaking. Okay. Uh, maybe 401 elk? Oh, and you can even see the little icon. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's tier 1. Gone, that's good. So I'm gonna take a look at this. What's this? Banana Stonks increases farm and farmer income range by 50%. That's a lot of percent. Okay, cool. I'll sell those. I kinda just wanna get this right away. Banana Stonks. I low-key just wanna go for the Stonks. Let's go for the stonks. Oh my god. Okay, 77k. Definitely gonna ignore that for now. But we need something just for DPS for now. Uh, cause this thing is not gonna do it. Huh, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Spectre is good. But that's expensive. Maybe just an overdrive. Yeah, I think overdrive. There we go. And then we can sell recursive. And then, I think we just keep farming for now. So, I just want to see how much one crate is giving. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. 540, that's what, that's without Banana Central. That's kind of crazy. That's a lot of money. Plus, with the other things from Geraldo, yeah, that's kind of cracked. And we're gonna get Monkey City and everything? Yeah, that'll be... We're gonna be chilling. I don't even want to know what that fifth tier does. Also, also, wait. Okay, we're, we're good. Leaking a little bit. That's fine. 
What's crazy is that this guy's already made 88k just from like himself because he produces bananas too. Remember that. So what does this thing do? The Wolf of Monkey Wall Street triples the worth. Triples the worth. Ridiculous. Now, I would like to know if this works on Monkeyopolis. I think it would. But anyways, um... Uh, it's gonna be a mad for this tier. But money is not quite there yet. So... We're about 15k off. We could just sell a farm, I think, for that right there. And then we'll make some money to get a tag zone during the round. So that, that, that'll that be the move for tier 2. Yeah, uh, tag zone now. And I'm dead. Awesome. Uh, let's go get tag zone a bit quicker. There. And we are leaking. That's a uh, fire for extra DPS. Uh, mentoring. I think that'll save it. Oh my god, what is happening on my screen? I'm dead. I'm dead, right? Okay, wait. DPS, DPS, DPS. Think, think, think. Uh, recursive cluster? Uh, maybe. Damn! Okay. Alright, uh, I don't know what to do. Another overdrive? Damn, okay. Uh, this is rough. I think I might have to restart this run. So, for this run, I'm doing something a bit different. I went for Ben instead of Geraldo. Um, and then I'm doing marketplaces just regular for tier one um, And then well, it still gives us plenty of time to use the farmer So this is pretty perfect for now and then Well, we'll start getting the um, top path farms soon along with the farmer All right, so here's gonna be the move for tier one. I'm gonna sell all of my marketplaces all right and then we're gonna get kind of our defense so um balloons are obviously a big problem so but but for the boss killer uh sticky bomb seemed pretty reliable and then alk buff um right here but then for the balloon for the insides I think just a recursive cluster was fine maybe uh, we'll see how this does if not well then I'll go cry or something I'm not sure and then I wanted I wanted to get my farmer but I just kind of want to get like the basis of all of my farms just here, so. So I think something like this, and then we'll have our farmer like down, because I want to fit a village in here too. Something like this, and then we'll upgrade, we'll get the banana, whatever it's called, to get the more money, and then hopefully this will be enough. Yeah, just the little balloons there are a problem, so I might have to go for a small, like, overdrive or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, instead, I'm gonna go for a more glaives. I think an Alk buffed more glaze is a move. And then like we go for a overdrive if this isn't enough. Oh no, that's 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 better. That's a lot better. Perfect. I'm gonna have to sell the sticky here because it stopped attacking. So like down here, it's the final skull, so it's not a big deal. 
And then that should be it. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to sell these guys. I'm going to get another farm. And then I have to get a overdrive. Because that seemed to work last time. An alk buff. Obviously, and we got to alk buff it. There. As for this guy, I'm going to go for the stonks. Just to get the ridiculous amount of money. So, and then we're just going to spam BRFs. And then, yeah, hopefully that should be good. Alright, so there we go. Um, I like the mad... But it's just the balloons that were coming out was the problem. So I'm trying to think how we could deal with that. Hmm. So we're going to sell those to get our mad. We're a bit off. That's um, really unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Maybe... Tag zone and maybe Glaive Lord. Actually, instead of Tag zone, just Glaive Lord. And we'll get that whenever the money's there. So, we'll get mad right now. And then we could sell like a farm or something. We don't need Glaive Lord right now, though. How much is it? Uh, 29k. Uh, we're almost there. Uh, I'll get it now. There we go. Now hopefully we're fine. Obviously you gotta keep on farming. Get as much money as possible. Make sure we get all the Moabs here. Oh, that's close. Last skull. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is really close. Oh. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Beautiful. I kind of want to keep Glaive Lord. To be honest, I just kind of want to keep the Glaive Lord around. So, I'll sell one of them and then... I want that Banana Central. So... I know if we sell the Glaive Lord, we could afford it. Uh, let's just wait for now. We're making a pretty good amount of money from these farms, so... We'll just wait it out. Not a big deal. And there we go. We got that. That should be a really good amount of money now. And then let's go for a Monkey City for even more. And then we could just get more BRFs and then more um, farmers. So, because for the memes, I would want to go for the Wolf Wall Street or whatever it's called. The the 5th tier bottom path farmer. I would love to see that thing. We could even afford it like next round. So, let's go for it. Honestly, the Wolf of Monkey Wall Street tripling everything. So, this should be pretty crazy. Yeah, this is looking insane. Alright, and then we're going to get more um, farms down with another with another farmer and another um, monkey city. And because, well, Glaive Lord was so good against uh, tier 2, might as well we save up for Boomerang Paragon. We got Boomerang Para for tier... For tier 4, right? Tier 3. Tier 3. This is tier 3. Ooh, that's a lot of money. And then we could try to go for the um, Farmer Paragon uh, afterwards. So we'll take see how that turns out. Alright, so 340k. I think that's enough for Boomerang Paragon. Uh, not too sure, though. So... That's... Oh, no, we're way off. Um, but we can play the round, and then we can make the money, like, during the round. We can even sell a few things, so that... 
Let's just get Glaive Dominus now. Uh, it's gonna be degree one, or degree four even. That's not even that bad. And then, well, we could just let this thing go to work while we farm some more. I hope we're not gonna lose. I hope we're wearing Paragon Candles. Yeah, we're chilling. So now I wanna see how this affects the Monkeyopolis. So I'm gonna pop it now. And I hope that the farmer's, uh, like, tripling ability affects the Opolis. I think it does. It should. And there we go. Boomerang Paragon for the win. Boomerang Paragon for the absolute win. And now we, uh, just f farm... And then I'm gonna try to go for this uh, farmer paragon. I would love to see what that thing could could cook up. So this upgrade is actually really cool. This top path upgrade um, has infinite banana collection range. So I'm guessing we put this guy literally anywhere and he could collect bananas. Uh, not too sure, but that sounds pretty cool. And it's cheap, so... Well, if we put him, like, right here... And let's get him up to that. And I'm guessing he could just collect anything now? That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy, actually. So, like, we could just throw down a bunch of farms. And then, like... He could just collect all of it. That's sound... That's... That's... That's cool. That's awesome. And then, obviously, we're going to get the an overclock for um, our tier 5 farm. And then, might as well, we go for the other tier 5, just so we have it. What is this? Um, super Slippery Bananas. Um, I don't know if he has to collect bananas to kind of, like, activate. We'll put them right here. Uh, so, Banana Gun... A uh, sub banana gun, rotten bananas, potassium speed, and super slippery bananas. And then there's the paragon. Potassium supreme is 700k. Pretty crazy, but with the amount of money we're making, honestly, like that is not even a lot. Like this, we're getting so much money. So yeah, you can see this guy's attacking. He just looks like he's just pushing him back, which is cool. Six and a half hours later. And I totally forgot, but I should be going for more um these guys, the ones with the stocks that give more money per banana. I should definitely be going for those. I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, uh, this is taking forever. <laughs> I don't think I put this guy in a good spot. Uh, yeah, uh, I think he's just stalling the round. So I'm gonna sell him and put him somewhere else. I'll put him like right over here or something. Alright, so now I think we save up for the Paragon and this is absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> the amount of farms we can fit. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm pumped to see what this Paragon could do. So, um... Making about 50k per, like, box, I guess, is what it looks like. Uh, so we can afford him very soon. It's gonna be this one up here, I think. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get it after this round, after this round, after this round. Alright, so Potassium Supreme, the embodiment of the monkey economy itself. Alright, you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Degree 57. Damn! Uh, what does he do exactly? Uh, we- he has targeting. He has targeting, which is awkward. Uh, what does he do? Uh, I can't tell what he's doing. Uh, looks like money. And a lot of money. <laughs> I'm seeing 6,200. 
Wow. Um, okay. Now just to get more of these guys, I guess, just because they increase our money by quite a bit, so... I'm actually not sure what this guy does. I should have put him in a better spot. Uh, but, like, uh, every, this range is ginormous. I should have looked up what this guy does, because I genuinely have no idea. Um... He's making... So it looks like he's making like 140 a second and like 84 per second. I'm seeing 217 too. So, uh, no idea. Does like the crate mean he's affecting all of the other farmers on the screen? Could that be it? Like he increases the amount of money for like every single guy on the screen. I have no idea, but we have a mm, lot of money, so. So for tier 4, uh, I have no room to put anything. Uh, but we should probably go for an ace paragon. Uh, almost 2 mil, so yeah, money's definitely there. I'll sell a bunch of these guys. I'll make this guy the wolf, Wall Street, whatever. And then, yeah. Alright, so Ace Paragon, let's see what degree we got. Uh, 30, that's alright, I'll take 30 actually. Um, the bombs. And then, I guess we just keep farming, we still, yeah, we'll just keep farming. Alright, so let's see uh, how we do against tier 4, Blue Nerys. Uh, with Ace Paragon and Boomerang Paragon, damage looks pretty good. Uh, ace ability does a load of damage. Wow. Oh, wait. You can see, like, the little bananas this guy's shooting. Oh, okay. So he does have, like, targeting, kind of. So I guess he does damage, because he does have pops. You see, he has pops. So he does do some amount of damage. Just the amount I'm not too sure of. But yeah, there we go. Pretty, really easy tier 4. And now we just wait till tier 5, I guess. So because I kind of want to understand what this thing does, I'm assuming that he collects everything on the screen um, because of the top path. He shoots out banana peels that do damage with a middle pass. And then he triples everything in its range. That's why its range is so massive. So everything in its range, it triples. So I maybe should have made like this guy the Paragon or like this guy the Paragon. But that's pretty sweet because you can see um, all of the crates are like, automatically going to this guy over here. So yeah, I'm guessing he collects everything on the screen and then well just produces money himself and then uh, shoots out banana peels on the track. Alright, so 119, and look at that amount of money. 6 mil without selling anything. So now I'm going to sell everything. I'll probably be at like 7 mil or something. But I'm going to keep the Paragon uh, here. I'm going to keep him there. Just because he does actually do something. He does shoot out the little banana peels. S almost... S what? Almost 8 mil. That's crazy. Uh, so now we just go ham with the towers, I think. Uh, like, Vengeful. Alright, there we go. The Vengeful is acquired. And it's interesting because he has the buff. Like, you can see there, he has the Potassium Guy buff. Which is odd, but okay. Alright, Master Builder. 18, ah, uh, whatever. Uh, and then we have our this thing, which I don't think it will do really anything, but whatever. I, this is gonna be enough, like, uh, whatever. We'll go for, like, a super mines, I guess. And a carpet. And a perma spike. But, yeah, I think this will be enough. Um. We got a lot of power, so. 
So we're down to the last skull, just about to wrap it up. Uh, it's been pretty simple, uh, not too hard. Um, obviously, and what's interesting to me is that this guy is actually doing like, it's really laggy and hard to see, but he's actually doing somewhat of a thing. He's doing like a couple thousand damage per second, which is cool to see because, well, obviously this guy is a money maker, a support tower. Well, oh, that's why he's in the support, but there we go. Um, there we go. So, yeah. Um, that was a showcase of the Banana Farmer Tower. Um, uh, be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the mod review. Uh, I'd love to do more. This was really fun. And definitely, um, this thing is a cash machine. If you need money, this thing is definitely the way to go. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all thought of this mod review, and if you want to see more, like, just like this one, be sure to let me know. And I'll leave a link to all the um, creators for the mods I use down in the description. Uh, fantastic mods all around. They're super fun, super enjoyable, so be definitely be sure to go check them out if you haven't. And so, that's it for me today. So, y'all take care and have a great day. Thanks for the support lately, too. Take care.